Hi there, it's Annie Lou. How are you? I wanted to make a short video um, featuring my daughter, Catherine. So after Thanksgiving, I drove with her to New Jersey and have stayed a few days and now I am heading home. Now, Catherine has an Etsy business and I am going to let her tell you what it is that she does. So let me see if I can find her. Catherine! So here's my Katie Ritchie. Hello. So I want you to tell my um, subscribers what it is that you do. I'm very, very proud of her and what she has accomplished, Thanks. just so you know. Thanks, Mother. Um, so I sell crystals. I have an Etsy shop called Seeking Wealth. I also, I guess that's, you would call that my brand. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, but mostly sell crystals. So crystals are good for a lot of different reasons. Some people like them just for decor, but there's a lot of energetic and healing properties that can be found working with crystals. So that is the biggest part of my online business. All right. Do you want to go around and do a show and tell and maybe explain what some of the crystals sure what their properties are um mm. sounds good and let's go into the crystal room yes there is a crystal room yes room. let us go okay okay um so this is green adventuring it's in the shape of a hamsa hand um, which is the hand of the goddess so i like to use these types of crystals as a way to burn candles because um, it will capture the wax without it getting onto a surface. So that's what I really like these types of carvings for. Green adventuring, as you can see, I have a lot of different green adventuring. This is an example of a top polish point. So this is, um, what it does is it like channels your energy up into the universe, kind of explaining to it what you, what you want. Um, and green adventuring, it's a heart chakra crystal, but it's also good for abundance and money. So if you're looking to bring more um, prosperity into your life. Green Adventuring is one of my favorite crystals for that. Um, up here we also have another top polish point. This is Blue Calcite. Blue Calcite is good for your throat chakra, so if you need to communicate um, something to somebody a little bit more effectively so that they can actually hear your message, sometimes it's good to work with that. Um, here we have Flower Agate and Amethyst. Um, so it's kind of like a hybrid crystal because it's two for one. Flower agate is good for new beginnings and fresh start. Amethyst is good for your third eye chakra. Um, that happens to be my birthstone too, because I was born in February. So amethyst has a lot of really good um, utility. It's protective, it can help you um, develop your psychic abilities, um, and it can also protect you from, kind of two for one, protect you from psychic attacks. So if you feel like someone's channeling a lot of negative energy at you, amethyst is a good one to work with. This is Celestite, um, it's very beautiful, it's a bright blue. This is connected to your crown chakra. So if you're trying to um, get messages from your angels or spirit guides or connect more to the heavens, Celestite's a really good one to work with, to have by your bed. It assists with um, getting messages, dream work, that kind of a thing. Um, this is <laughs> lemon calcite, it's in the shape of a mushroom, so it's super cute. Lemon calcite is good for energy, so if you're feeling kind of sluggish or slow, um, the bright yellow of lemon calcite will kind of give you a bit of a boost and it also works with your solar plexus. Um, were there any crystals, Annie, that you liked that you want me to talk about? Um, There's a lot of different stuff here, so. Remember the crystals that had that spirit, like spirit animal in it? No, I don't. Oh, oh, those are out there. Oh, those are out there, but let's look in here, so. There is quite an assortment of bracelets. Oh, yeah. Talk about that. There's a lot of them. I mean, bracelets are good because if you're specifically working on a chakra, like you want to um, balance a specific chakra, or if you want to have a constant reminder of what it is that your intention is that you're working with, bracelets are good. These are four millimeters, so they're really small. Um, so it's not like a big weight on your hand. So that's why I like the four millimeter bracelets. I have them organized here based on color. 
Um, so there's a lot of different ones, but typically the color of a crystal is associated with the chakra that it's aligned to. Can I ask you a question? What of is course. chakra? Um, energy center in your body. So there's typically seven that like most people talk about and work with because it's easy to remember, but I think there's like over 30 different energy centers and chakras um, from the bottom of your foot all the way up to like out in your energy field, but there's seven. So it goes root, um, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. So, and each one has a color associated with it. Um, but yeah, that's why I like these bracelets. And they're very popular, and they're not too expensive. They're only like, I don't know, maybe 9 to $15 each. So it's a pretty um, affordable way to get started in crystals if you're not yet. So you would wear that on your wrist, and then when you look at it, you would say, oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, wearing. definitely. And also having it on your skin also just makes it more effective. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I just want to show, if you hear in the background someone <laughs> snoring, <laughs> it's Pinto. Pinto. <laughs> she sleeps really well in here. I know this She story. sleeps a lot in here. Hey, Pinta, you want to say anything? Just gonna scan. That's my altar. It's a little bit messy right now, but it's where I do a lot of my meditations and um, intention setting. And don't you also do um, card readings? I do. I do do tarot card readings and also oracle cards. Generally, um, I would lump it together as spiritual life coaching. Yeah, it's a little messy in here, but it's not an actual retail space. It's an e-commerce business, so don't come at me. <laughs> so mother was helping me with some um, admin and different things for the crystal shop while she's here and one of the things that she liked to do was find faces in the crystals this is one of her favorites this is crazy carnelian it's in the shape of a flame so it's about getting that fire going and burning within um, carnelian is good for the root but as you can see there's a face in it hold still isn't that amazing I that's the first thing I saw I never noticed it really no but sometimes I'll notice like different things in the crystals and I'll make a note in the listing if I actually do notice it but I'm not usually like looking for Things that just pop out at me. That's cool. Once I found an exclamation point in a crystal, so I oh, thought that yeah. was cool when I listed it with that mentioned. But. Well, when I was packaging things for you, I saw I saw a shark. That's cool. I saw a um a dolphin. Mm -hmm. Um I just saw a lot of shapes that and went, Oh my word, look at this, you That's know? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Well, thank you, Catherine. You're welcome. Um, all right, I will post your business card on here, too. Yes, put the website up. The website? Yeah. Okay. The Etsy shop. I will. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mom. So, thank you for joining us, and, um... Thank you. Bye-bye.